2 Chronicles chapter 17. It says here about Jehoshaphat, his heart was lifted up, was made proud in the ways of Yahweh. So we have a natural inclination towards pride, but as with a lot of natural inclinations that we have, that inclination to pride must be put into pride in the ways of God. And of course, his supreme way is in his son, who is the way, the truth and the life. And this idea of being proud in God and in the Lord Jesus, this is actually quite common. Paul says, I will not boast in anything save in the cross of Jesus Christ, in the fact that he died for me. The Son of God loved me and gave himself for me. I will boast in that. I will be proud in that. Paul says, we rejoice in Christ Jesus, and it's the word for pride. We are proud in Christ Jesus and have no confidence in the flesh. It's quite different to the worldly view of pride, where people are proud of their achievements, proud that they finished this course, or they had this career, or had this family, or bought this house, or whatever it is. We are proud in Christ Jesus and have no confidence in the flesh. All that is, is, is nothing at all and is in fact to be despised. So then, again, he says, I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. I am not shy of it. I, by implication, I'm proud of it. And he, he says in Romans 15, we boast in Christ Jesus. Now, this arises from a personal relationship with him. If you know God, if you know the Lord Jesus, if you are in relationship with them, if you have seen and perceived historically in the Bible how they have behaved and acted and what they have done, and if you have felt that in your own life, you will be proud of them. And so man needs an idol. Man needs a hero. And here you have it. The world is full of disillusioned people who were proud of this political party or that philosophy or this house they bought or that person. And they found that person or that movement or whatever had feet of clay. The only thing that will not disappoint is the Lord Jesus. And if you have that relationship with him, you will be proud of him. And that will actually be the basis of your witness. That will be what helps you to overcome that inertia, that shyness, in talking to other people about Jesus Christ.